Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Good Friday, AKA Easter weekend. Today I am making fried whiting and black beans and rice, macaroni and cheese, salad, the works. This is what I came up with. All right, so these are the ingredients for my mac and cheese. Remember all ingredient measurements will be in my description box. Always read my description box. So I'm gonna grate my onion down into my milk. It's gonna add extra flavor. And you're just gonna season the milk right on up. Make sure you season and taste the milk before you add your eggs. So I crack my eggs separately and then I add it because you know I don't want any shells. So this is what I have and you wanna set this to the side and then we're gonna move on. These are the cheeses that I have available. Use the ones that are available to you. So drain your pasta and then I'm going to just build the macaroni and cheese and you guys could just watch me do that. The double egg. Now, first of all, I I wish I could have made them extra special. So I had to use what I had on hand and I just made simple, easy deviled eggs. What you're about to see is me just whipping it on up. They turned out pretty, pretty good, actually. They were delicious. And yeah, so check it out. And then these are my deviled eggs. So even from way back in culinary school, how I peel my eggs is underneath the water because I don't know what it is, y'all. The water helps me peel the eggs and that's how I get it done clean and smooth and they're always perfect so now i'm gonna season my eggs with the mayo the mustard the hot sways you guys are gonna see what i do right here and we're gonna move on This step right here, you could definitely use a spoon or you don't have to use a, um, a tip. You could just put it straight into the bag and just use it from the hole that's in the bag. But I had a, um, a piping tip, so that's why I decided to use it. Believe me, it's optional. Believe me. <laughs> Once the mac and cheese is done, it took about 35 minutes to get to this point and then topped it off with the rest of my cheese and then I'm going to pop it back in the oven. Now this part doesn't really have a time frame. It's more so once it gets nice and golden and bubbly and crispy around the edges or however you prefer your topping, that's when it's done because the, the mac and cheese itself is already cooked. And this is how beautiful and delicious mine's turned out. Black beans and rice. Now, first of all, you guys know I don't be doing no canned beans in the rice like that. Again, you know the tea was good. We all going through it. We going through it. So just a couple pieces of beyond cubes, fresh thyme, butter, salt and pepper, and that's it, girl. <laughs> Now for me, when I cook rice, I do two to one. So if it's like one cup of rice, then I use two cups of water. But a lot of people do it their own way. But I'm just telling you how I do it. Long story short, you can just follow the directions of the, on the back of your package and you're good to go. This is the point where I decide to turn the stove down, cover it, and let it cook. Now this is my whiting. I was so surprised when I saw this whiting in the store. I have not had whiting since I left New Jersey five years ago. And I don't know what it is. It's so hard for me to find it in Houston. I don't know if they call it a different word here. I don't know what's going on. I don't know another word for it, but uh, I was so happy to see it, so I bought it. So here we are. 
So I'm going to season the fish up real nice and lovely like this. And now we're going to season the cornmeal and flour mixture. I crushed up that bullion cube right in that cornmeal and that flour. Mm. No, for real, do it because um, it made a difference and it's super delicious. All right, so now you just coat the fish. That's it. You know, the fish is already a little damp from the hot sauce and you rinsing it off. So you don't need any egg or anything like that. Just put it right into the cornmeal flour mixture coat it and let it sit for about eh, two to three minutes just so it can dry up and then we're going to fry them up so in my oil that's at 350 degrees i'm gonna fry them for about two to three minutes on each side it all depends on how big your fish is but they fry up super super fast and quickly you know so uh yes yeah, so i'm gonna show you guys everything i have and laid out and thank you guys so much for watching my video dinner was so delicious and fresh and the fish was actually pretty good so <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this video i had fun making it and recording it not so much fun editing it but <laughs> i love you guys and thank you so much for watching bye